made a right hand turn and I came upon this movie scene. It was a horror movie scene with just bright lights and flashing fire engines. My name is Denise Dapont, and this is my story. October 9th, 2005. My son Tony was 15 years old at the time. I guess around 11.15 or so that night, I got the phone call. That phone call. They said, Denise, Tony's been in an accident. And I said, is he okay? And they said, Tony's okay, but some of the boys are not. My son was 15 years old. He had left the house on his bicycle, you know. Um, some of his teammates had decided to go to Taco Bell. The route to the hospital actually took me right past this accident scene and there were flashing lights everywhere. And I thought, all right, this cannot be the accident that my son was in. And I got out of the car, I just jumped out. And I went to go talk to one of the first responders and I said, I just got a phone call to go to the hospital to get my son and you need to tell me this is not the accident that he was in. I saw that car and I knew that there's no way anyone could get out of that car alive. So the first responder told me, you need to not go by yourself. I went into the emergency room and my son was laying on the gurney. They told me that they had finished the CAT scan and that his neck was broken, but they didn't know what that meant. They had to, to see. We already knew at this time that Tony's friend, Mickey, didn't make it. The driver was in the worst shape. Johnny Farber's family had to decide whether or not they should remove the life support because he had such bad traumatic brain injury and And they did. Tuesday, Johnny died. They repaired his neck and they put that, that halo contraption on his neck with uh, surgical screws in his, in his head in four different places and they taught him how to walk with that for about three months. We got that halo off at 5.45 on Christmas Eve that year. That was a good day. The seatbelt can save your life. When it's a, a routine, you just do it without thinking about it. So my game was, if you get in the car and you put your seatbelt on without me saying anything, I'll give you a quarter. Yeah, yeah, those quarters might have saved his life. He was wearing his seatbelt. And that's what safety is all about. It's about building safe behaviors that become routines that you just don't even have to think about it anymore. My name is Denise Dapont, and I'm asking you, please think safe.